Hey everybody, Tony D, Little Jones barking at something at the front door, and this is a screenwriter's rant about the multiverse. No, not the Marvel MCU multiverse, but an independent movie about the concept of traveling in between universes, and there's like 9 million production companies on this thing. So the premise is uh, some kind of experiment, uh, scientific experiment, uh, shifts the characters into an alternate universe, but things go awry. Maybe there's some climate change, I don't know, but they're in trouble. Uh, they end up in worlds where they also exi already exist there, and then they have problems with the other versions of themselves. Or maybe they meet other versions from darker universes, you don't know. So, and there's clearly some murder there, there's a scene where they're throwing away a body, they keep running into themselves again and again and again. You know, it's a typical, uh, don't don't mess man is not meant to play God kind of kind of take which I think is good I think it's a strong concept I, I like it I wrote about it I had a supernatural take on it uh, story by Michael McKenzie and Doug Taylor screenplay by Doug Taylor directed by Garral Garav Smith Seth um, from Saban films it looks relatively low budget Northern Ontario Heritage Fund Corporation means that they probably shot this in Canada, I'm guessing, with Canadian actors. It looks good, though. I mean, it's, it looks well-produced. Oh, Marley Matten's name is on it. Oh, maybe she makes a cameo? Um, so it could be a very interesting movie. Now, it's also a very hard movie to pull off, uh, you know, because when you got multiple universes and, you know, you're dealing with a lot of concepts there. They're very heady and making them all pay off and having a narrative where the characters change for the better or for the worse or whatever. It's going to be very tough. You know, what's real, what's not. It uh, the, It's very easy for the movie to unravel. I would totally see this movie, though, because I just love the concept. The characters look okay. The trailer's not really showing me strong character traits that would be used in the movie to distinguish one from another which could be an issue if they're bland characters you kind of get confused and like well, wait a minute it's the same actor which one is which version is he they need either very strong actors or or very strong traits to show us the difference between them or both um but i think you know i would totally see this movie it looks interesting to me um coming sometime this year yeah no date so uh yeah uh, first act is going to be them talking about it. Maybe they have some weird deja vu moments that leads them to believe it's already happened. Uh, they work on the experiment at the end of the first act. Something happens. They make a breakthrough. They go to the other universe. Maybe they come back. Then uh, things start to escalate from there. Uh, they Maybe they realize that when they came back, they ended up in the wrong universe, they can't get back to their own universe, maybe other versions of them have the same idea, end up in the same universe, and there's conflict, and it just boils over into the third act, where, I don't know, it looks dark, I'm gonna guess a lot of them die, <laughs> a lot of people die, I mean, it's an excuse to kill off your main character and still keep the movie going, because you're gonna have the same actors, so, um, there's been a couple of movies like this, low budget, this looks to be the biggest version of it, other than, I guess if you count the Marvel version. The Marvel version will probably be interesting in that because you you know the characters so well a lot of times, but for this, it, the, the, the struggle is to get, get the characters, get the audience up on deck with these characters so you can then start messing with them. I mean, that was the problem with Sliders, which I loved. Um, it kind of started okay, had some weird, weird side characters that then went from being goofy comic relief to super smart guys, and went from doing the obvious kind of like, what if the Americans didn't win the revolution sort of stories to like very subtle changes. I think they should have stuck with the subtle changes on sliders. I think it would have been a more interesting show, and then slowly ramped it up over the course of the series. Um, and it really still needs to be about character. Even though you have a great concept, and I think this is a great one, you still need to uh, ground it in the reality of the characters, or else this could really get away from you. This is a big concept. Don't kid yourself, screenwriters. 
this can easily get away from even the most seasoned screenwriters. I, I've written one myself. I think I did an okay job on it. So again, more supernatural, but it's it's a tough concept. It's a fun one, though. So uh, don't shy away from it, but just understand, you don't let the concept overwhelm the normal things you need to do in a movie. All right, and that's it. Look for Multiverse sometime this year. We'll see it in the next one.